Hey Kings, you are once again welcome. Today we are going to create a 3D flip transition inside Premiere Pro. We are going to go into all details. So as you do it always, make sure to follow it step by step, so that you won't miss anything. And also, I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Your likes, and your comments always inspire me to create more. I really appreciate it. Keep on supporting. Now, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Ok, already I'm having two images on my timeline. And of course, these can be videos too. So what we are going to do is to go to the effects panel. Search for the basic 3D effect. And then add it to both clips. Good. Now on the effect controls panel. You will see the difference. If I start playing with the swivel and the tilt. But how to animate it, is where the challenge is. So make sure to follow carefully from here. Let's start animating the swivel. Add a keyframe to it at 0 degree. Move a bit forward on the timeline. And then change the value to 90 degrees. Now, take the last keyframe to the end of the clip. And also, you can take the first keyframe closer to the last keyframe for a faster animation. Good. Now, select the other clip. And on the effect controls panel. Add a keyframe to swivel, at the beginning of the clip. And then change the value to minus 89 degrees. Good. Move forward a bit on the timeline. And now change the value back to 0 degree. Good. That's it. You will now get a 3D flip transition. This will be the results if I play back. Good. Also, the more you open up or close the interval of the keyframes, the more the animation becomes slower or faster, respectively. Good. Also, if you follow the same procedure, you can animate the tilt, which is the other option apart from the swivel. And that is going to give you another 3D flip transition, from a different angle. Ok, so that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. And as I already said. A big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. But if you've not done it yet, then make sure to hit the subscribe button, because that's the only way you can have access to all my new tutorials. Always be creative. Jesus loves you, see you next week.